guys, welcome back. Um, so you'll notice the lights are off on the tank, and that's because today I went out and got some bee shrimp. Um, so they just the temperature is just evening out at the minute. See them whizzing around there. Um, so what I'm going to do is let the temperature even out for about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, and then I'm going to. Uh, equalize the waters uh, in their bag and my tank so that it's not a shock for them. Uh, I'll be doing that in a, a separate container. Uh, I'll probably be using the drip acclimation method. Um, so yeah, they'll be going in today. So I will show you a video uh, of those once they're in there. Um, something else that uh, I'll point out later on as I was mentioning it in my last video, the roots that the limnophila is sending down, uh, you won't be able to see them on there, but I'll show you how big they are uh, later on when the lights are on. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, I'll see you in a few minutes once, uh, once these are in the tank. So, see you later. Hi guys, so it's been about an hour now, and the shrimp are in, and they're swimming around <clears throat> quite nicely. So let's do a few, let's see if we can catch them uh, on camera, where have they all gone now? Um, let's have a look. There's one just round here. one just on the java moss there there we go um, there's six in total uh, there were six for 12 pounds which is quite a good price for uh, from what I've seen um, there you go just putting on a show for you um, so yeah, bee shrimp are a little bit more delicate than sort of more common like red cherry shrimp. Um, they're more sensitive to changes in water quality. Um, but generally, my sort of thinking is the water needs to be top quality regardless of of how hardy the fish are. Um, obviously, in some cases, like if you breed in certain types of catfish, then. Uh, the water quality will, will drop to mimic certain environmental conditions, but um, for this tank, I need my water quality to be um, you know, really high, uh, and <clears throat> the tank is nice and stable, and that's why I've waited so long before putting anything in. Uh, even though sort of my tank was recycled very quickly with the addition of bacteria. Um, and then I sustained those bacteria. Um, I just wanted everything else to settle out before I added anything. So we'll see over the next few days, but I am I'm pretty confident that these shrimp will do okay. Um, what's quite bad is there are six, but it's very unlikely that I'm going to see all six of them in one place again. Um, because they do quite like to hide, so yeah. I mean, I put, I, as soon as I put them in, uh, I think the most I've seen in one goes four. So I know they're all in there, and I just have to have faith that this uh, this tank's doing okay. So as you can see down at the front here, there's one of the baby Malaysian trumpets. Um, actually, last night, I've got a few photos of it. This is an empty Malaysian trumpet shell. Um, there was a planarian worm taken up home in that empty shell. Um, so I know they're still in here. Um, but I'm hoping when I start adding a few fish, they'll sort of take care of them. Uh, and they should provide quite a good source of live food for them. 
Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll just leave you with a few clips of uh, of the tank. So I'll see you again soon. I should have my ram's horn snails arriving in the next couple of days. So I will see you then. Mm -hmm.